Hey everybody, Jeff Stroud here with Hurricane Strouds. Uh, we got a pro couple projects going on today. Uh, I'm gonna try to start working on this 55 Ford. I got a 2001 Mustang that the motor went out in about 146,000 miles, but I'm gonna take the rear end out of it and hopefully swap it into my 55 and use a drivetrain from like a, I don't know, 90, 88 to 93 Mustang. Uh, before we get started, uh, you guys can leave in the comment section. My daughter decided to paint our concrete driveway with spray paint. If you guys know how to get that out, please hit me up. Back to our 55, it's an eight lug, so it's an F-250 actually. It's a long bed, it had a dump bed on it initially got a I think a 392 but we'll get to, uh, get to that whenever I get a 302 or a 351 to put in it we got it all covered up and primered some of it need to get the primer and the rest of it but I've got a bed coming from a guy I don't know in a couple weeks so once we get that I can shorten the frame because I think the 250s are a long bed no matter what and I think the bed I got coming is a short bed we'll probably take the c notch everything just to get it on the ground but like i said today this is my o1 mustang um i've already took the k memory and everything out because i'm gonna try to swap it into the 55 i'm gonna try to put it on wheel dollies pull it out turn it around and push it back take the rear end out of it but Nevertheless, let's get started. Okay, that was a tad bit sketchy, but what I had to do is take roughly two by fours, that's a two by six, but whatever, same height. Uh, put those on and put the Vilka dollies on top of that because I couldn't get my jack stand out without the, the height difference. So, go to the back and then just push everything and, you know, this will be a little sketchy, but it ought to work. So we got 95% of the sketch sketch out of the way. Uh, now I guess we'll tr try to push it out, push it forward, twist it around, and uh, get it set up to where I can get to the rear end a little better. I'm gonna take the front bumper off and I bought a, a solid metal bar that goes that's where the bumper pad is. So I'm gonna take the front bumper off and probably hook it to my Duramite, maybe the lawnmower, probably the Duramite, and uh, get it out. So just for reference, if you ever need to take off a 01 uh, Mustang front clip uh, or front bumper bolts here, and yeah, that usually breaks off. There's two bolts there, two bolts here, two bolts here, and the same on the other side. You pull the side of the bumpers out just a little bit to get it past those. Uh, <laughs> bolts and then you can just pull it right off. This 
Mustang was originally going to be a autocross type road road, road racing car. Um, so I bought that bar. I think it came from I think Dawson, Do Dawson or something like that. <coughs> but basically, put a strap over that so somebody can tell you. And it's a Mustang, so it's probably a good idea to have that anyway. So I really didn't like how that rolled at the front. So I've got a little uh, roll around table I had that I was going to make a little shop fan out of. But that'll be another time. So I think I'm just going to put that up under this radio and support it. And that should give it a lot better to see it. Okay, so that was definitely my better option to put it in the cart, put it under the front, and just have uh, these wheel dollars at the back. Unhook the 10 millimeter brake uh, line. This is coming off the rear end here. This piece here, I can't remember all what it's called, but the screws up here, I'm gonna take that out. Then I'm gonna take this, this strut bolt out. That bolt's an 18 millimeter. Your needle. Uh, I'm gonna This is where we're going to take off next. This, uh, I don't know, this arm that connects the top of the drive shaft or the top of the rear end to the body. Next, we're going to take out this bolt here on both sides, and that should get us about close. Minus pulling all the actual bolts out. I don't know what size that bolt's supposed to be, but uh, 13 sixteenths will work. I don't know those things right there. Those two bolts right there. Top bolts I've taken off in a long time. And just so y'all do, I'm sure y'all are aware of this, but you can take like a box in wrench, and put it in here like this, and Or the hose I'm trying to cut is this one here and it goes to my caliper and I mean I'm gonna have to replace all that stuff anyway uh, and it's got a braided line inside so I'm just I'm gonna use the cutoff wheel and just cut it off had there was a rear sway bar was getting was dropping down and catching the jack so I couldn't pull the jack out I just gave it a couple the jack a couple up movements and put a block of wood just to hold that sway bar up but this is what we have now 
Okay, just to go over what bolts you have to take out. Uh, the bolts, the bolt that goes through here, the bolt here, there's a bolt that goes here, and the same thing on the other side. Just a bolt here, a bolt here, a bolt in, into the connector thing right there. And that was about it. All right, guys, we just kind of slid the rear end up under there. I mean, it'll, it'll go in place of the existing axle, but I think it's gonna look real good, it's, at least when dropping down four or five inches, just with the axle swap and the tire and rim combination. All right, guys, if you like this video, please think about subscribing to my channel. Uh, leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. I uh, appreciate it.